hello guys in this video i will be unboxing some new aquatic plants for my aquarium i ordered it about two days ago and they have delivered it in just two days i am in india and i bought the aquatic plants from this website called aquabynature.com so if you are also in india and want to buy some aquatic plants for your aquarium check out the links in the video description you can go there and buy any plants of your choice so I, I ordered some of the plants like this Velisneria nana and some water lettuce and this water grass called Japanese bunch. So let's unbox it. So this is the water lettuce. Bitter fish love this water lettuce, that's why I ordered it. All are in healthy condition. Now let's open up this Japanese bunch. It is called water grass. It is very good plan for carpeting. The water grass is bit taller so once we will plant it it will be shorter in the aquarium this is valisneria nana a jungle wall like plant you can plant it in the background and it will look very nice These are also very really tall growing plants. So this is the Japanese bunch. It is also in healthy condition. Roots are also there. So let's separate all the plants and try to plant them in the aquarium. So this Japanese bunch is, roots are all attached. We have to separate them and make a small small samples of that so that we can plant it easily. So this is my discus aquarium, I am trying to plant some water lettuce. There is a female beta fish here, so she will like the water lettuce. I heard from somewhere that beta fish love the water lettuce, that's why I ordered it. This is my nano planted aquarium and in this also I am adding some water lettuce. Looking very pretty in this aquarium. Now few water lettuce is there. If you can remember this cylindrical beta tank I made about few days back. I am also adding the water lettuce in this also. There is a male beta fish in the tank so hope he will like the water lettuce. Now few more water lettuce is left. I have an outdoor aquarium for lotus plants. It is looking very messy now. Lots of dried leaves are fallen into it. Let me clean it. Now the outdoor lotus aquarium is clean. Let me put some of the water lettuce. There is very large number of platys that are grown in this outdoor aquarium I have to collect them and sell them before they start dying in the aquarium so there is one water lettuce since this is an outdoor aquarium the plants grow like crazy so I hope I will get some more water lettuce now this is the Valisneria nana or the jungle valve looking like plant I am trying to plant them also the Japanese bunch, I will be making small bunches of it or small samples of it so that I can plant them easily.
so this is the water grass or the japanese bunch the leaves are looking very stunning once it become an carpet in the aquarium they looks very nice so let me plant the varicineria nana the uh, tall growing plant that i ordered they should be planted in the background and if you don't know how to plant the plants use the tweezers and push the roots into the soil or substrate of the aquarium so i have planted all the varicineria nana in the background and it is looking somewhat pretty this is the water lettuce that i added they require low co2 and low light and now it's time to add the japanese bunch that is the water grass they are planted in the foreground that is towards the front of the aquarium so there it is i have planted all the plants in the discus aquarium some water grass i also added The valisneria nana came with some algae affected leaves so i am cutting out that and also the, the plants were planted very far far away so let me plant them again closer to each other and it, that will look very good in the background So let me add some more water grass. If they spread in the foreground, they will look like a carpet of grass and it will look very pretty in the aquarium. So there it is all the water grass for the discus aquarium have been planted So I have some more left out plants that will be planted in the outdoor lotus aquarium this is the valisneria nana or jungle wall I will be planting it somewhere at the back. I know I have to trim lot of plants in this aquarium because they have all grown very crazy. Let me also plant the Japanese bunch or the water grass. Now I have to plant the carpeting grass or the water grass in my nano planted aquarium and this aquarium is very small so I have to take care that the soil is not agitated that much or it will ruin all the plants in the aquarium Palestrian well, ara towards the background
Now it's time to add the water grass or the Japanese bones. Oh, the first attempt failed. Let me try it again. You have to put it deep into the soil and remove the squeezers slowly. So there it is. Always make sure you make a 45 degree angle between the roots and the tweezers and then push them into the soil. So there it is, all the plants have been planted in all the aquariums and you can now enjoy the planted tanks that I have made. This is the nano planted aquarium that is kept in my bedroom. And this is the discus aquarium that is kept in my fish room. So I hope that you liked this video and if you want to buy some aquatic plants check the links in the video description you can buy it from that website. Also like and share this video and subscribe my channel for the upcoming videos. Until next video bye and take care and thanks for watching.